All right, so um, we made it past almost payday. Mm-hmm. Just a few more days, and then we should be in the clear, right? By about the fifth, right? And then we got to make it through the month of December, and then another year, right? 2023, yeah. Now, the thing is, Satan taught us how to war. Mm -hmm. And I think we're stuck in it. <laughs> In other words, we only want to fight each other because we are a little different, right? You know, one of the things I heard one of the Russian invaders say about the Ukrainians is we're fighting ourselves, right? Usually you are, right? And what is it over? A little bit of land, a little bit of land. A port, <laughs> probably. Right? So you can have money, right? Yeah, how was that really working out for you? Not too well, not too good, not too good, right? I mean, you might get the port eventually or something, I guess. I don't know. But at what cost? See, when we do things we don't understand, right? or for greed, or for power, or for control of a piece of property, or some land, right? And we don't realize we're all supposed to share mm -hmm, the whole planet, right? We kind of become selfish, greedy, good and evil, with no real love in our hearts, right? And our hearts become like stone, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where even the law can't make you do what's right or wrong to someone, right? Not even the rules can stop you because you know you can break them all, right? And don't you think that's the whole problem? We all want to break the rules, right? <laughs> you want to accuse me, right? of something that's so crazy, right? It don't even happen that way, right? <laughs> but at the same time, right, <laughs> you weren't there, you weren't there, right? <laughs> so like I keep telling you, the person who was there didn't think anything happened. Why do you, why do you? Because you're sicker than her, right? And like I keep telling you, I I never said anything happened. You are, you are. You're saying it for the child, even, and the ex-wife, and me, and you. Right? When none of us reported it or said anything happened, right? And then you're acting like the wife is part of the, what, Me Too movement? Well, I never threatened her, right? We weren't working together, not in the same place, right? Even if we were both on base, right? And again, when it was over, I knew it was over, right? <laughs> I had learned from my previous relationship, if something's over, it's over, let it go, let it go. <laughs> but see, someone can't let the fact that I have a stepdaughter go, right? <laughs> right. I married a woman who had a child from a previous relationship, idiot. Right. The guy who was with her first didn't marry her, right? <laughs> Who's really the jerk there? The guy who didn't marry her. And the guy who did knew it was a temporary thing by the end, right? And just realized, okay, I see what she was saying, right? And let her go and let her go. <laughs> she wanted her daughter, and that was the only way she could get her daughter, and he understood that. And then let it go and let it go. <laughs> and, you know, worked it out with her, right? Unlike the other guy. I don't think he ever paid child support for his daughter, right? And see, that's called being a deadbeat dad, right? What you gonna do about it? That's the kind of father he chose to be, right? 
Now, see, I know nobody's perfect, but come on, man. Right, right. Did you ever pay child support for your daughter? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even ask because it ain't my business, really. Right. I damn sure wouldn't molest her. Right. Plus, she's sleeping with the mom, and that sounds even weirder. Right. <laughs> What did you do, coach her to wake me up? <laughs> After her mother fell asleep? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't even worry about it if you did <laughs> or didn't, right? I would just know to bring her back to Daphne if you did, right? Or not, right? Not that this proves anything either, right? It's just a suspicion, right? Now, for somebody on base the day I fell, well, I couldn't even get off base to even talk to anyone, right? My ex wife or Pastor Thomas. So that leaves that you attacked me instead of I fell, right? You know, people don't normally accuse people of molestation of their stepdaughter when she's sleeping with the mom, and I keep telling you that, right? No one would even think that, right? And you're not some kind of rocket scientist to think it yourself, right? That's just not how it's done, right? Unless the girl's coach or the mother's, again, trying to set me up for it, right? But even then, if I didn't do anything, she can't prove I did either. Not by a long shot, right? <laughs> so there goes your story, right? There goes your theory, right? And it's not a good theory, but you could have the theory, right? So the point, right? You can pretend, right, that with the girl sleeping with her mom, I was even thinking that, right? No, no. I'd just be sleeping on the couch, watching TV till it's around 11 and go to sleep, right? At least Thursday night, right? Which is the only night we had contact. The rest of the time she was with her bio dad, right? How do I know? Well, that was before, right? Um, The fall, mm-hmm. But longer, right? It's over a week I'm around my life, right? right? And that's a detail that's important, right? right? To remember, right? But if your stepdaughter wakes you up, you might not even remember that because you're not thinking about it that way, right? You're just saying, oh, well, why she wake me up? I don't know. Better tell her mom. Better tell her mom. <laughs> if she does, ask her who's heard of that and tell her mom, right? That's what I was taught to do as well. I, know. I knew of a man in my town growing up, <laughs> in my neighborhood, <laughs> who really did that, maybe, right? But I can't prove it because the person is having issues with it still. And they don't know how to talk about it because they won't get counseling or something. They won't get therapy or something, right? They don't know how to talk to people about it either, but they're hanging in there too, right? So you can't make them face that is the reason they're the way they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But you still support them the best you can, right? <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to accuse a mentally ill person of doing something with a stepdaughter when the stepdaughter sleeping with the mom, because clearly... You're going overboard, right? Worse than overboard. You're flat out changing the whole scene, right? Not me or the mother, right? <laughs> but you, and you're an outsider, even if it's the bio dad or someone on base, but how the hell would they know? How the hell would they know? <laughs> well, there's something else was going on about being gay in the Navy, right? <laughs> Now, someone also gay in the Navy at that time would more want to accuse you. Because, <laughs> see, even that's against the UCMJ. Both are, actually. You can't molest a child or have sex with a man, according to the UCMJ. Right? Sodomy was a crime, right? And punishable by court martial or captain's vest, right? And that's the kind of sex gay people have, right? And yet, I never did it in the Navy, but they were trying to... Um, certain people in a certain church I was going out to 
were trying to do something other than, right? And yet, say it wasn't of a gay nature when it was. When it was, it was called what the prostitutes call a hand job, if you were to understand, right, the educational point of prostitution, right? Now, when you're a prostitute, you don't always have sex, right? You do other things sometimes according to the John's ability to pay, right? You know, you ever heard the song, A Penny for Your Thoughts, A Nickel for Your a Kiss, A Dime If You Tell Me That You Love Me? <laughs> well, that's the same concept. You're buying someone's love, I know. Well, or interaction with you. So you got say $10 for a hand job, right? $5, $15 for a blow job, right? And then, right, 20 and above for sex, right? You know, there's a price, right? right for each thing, right? And the woman wants you to hit it and quit it, right? You know, take the money and run, right? Do it, do so he, she wants it over quickly too. She don't want no romance, <laughs> even if you do. Even if you do, <laughs> she know it ain't romantic to her. <laughs> it's a job. It's a job. <laughs> so, uh, and she might want to feel a little good, but that ain't the point either, right? <laughs> but now. Like I said, if you're with me, I'm going to try to make you feel good quicker, slow, right? Massage or whatever, right? I see that there's a full body massage and then there's a partial body massage, right? I know. But I'm not complaining. I'm just saying someone needs a little bit more training. Maybe, and I can either train her myself or whatever, right? <laughs> And that's the whole point, too, right? So, another problem is you are so prejudiced, right? Mm -hmm. You sometimes miss the point the other person is saying, right? I know about these things, but it don't mean I'm trying to do it with the person. I'm just trying to get a legitimate massage, right? Usually. usually. Only. Mm-hmm. Well, see, the other problem is you won't believe it. If I tell you we did and she tells you we didn't, one of us is lying, right? <laughs> and hiding something to begin with, not the other, and even me would be right. Oh, no. So once you do that, that's it, right? That's all I can say, right? All right, well, y'all have a good day and figure out your life for yourself, right? Now, if you do evil, you have the evil man's reward, right? If you do good and love, you have the good and loving men reward. But there is a thing such as polyamory, mm -hmm. as well as monogamy, which are about kind of the same thing, right? Yet, if there's several billion people on the planet, it's hard to find one woman sometimes, right? That's what I mean, right? You either need someone to help you or quit interfering in your dating life, right? To where the other person don't know what they're doing. <laughs> All right. Have a good day.